Hi and welcome back to a new episode and today I'm going to look back on my recent years as a hiker and talk about three things I should have bought sooner. Before we start, nah, just kidding. Today I'm going to jump right into it. So without further ado, I present to you Number one. The first thing I should have bought sooner is the puffer jacket. Wow! A puffer jacket is so nice to have and has a lot of versatility. Before I got one I had like a thick fleece and a shell jacket and other clothes to keep me warm. And sure, they did the job but with a lot of added weight. A down jacket or puffy as many says replaces a lot of those clothes and will keep you warm and cozy those cold evenings in camp and will duplicate as an extra layer for sleeping. My choice for a puffy is the all famous Trek 100 down jacket from Decathlon. A cheap budget option that really performs well and at only 286 grams in size large. There are a lot of good options out there and not only the Trek 100 jackets. For example, Cumulus if you want to buy from Europe, but also Mountain Hardware or Arctrix and many many more. Oh, now it's sunny. Nice. Before you buy, I do recommend you thinking about and decide if you want a down jacket or a synthetic jacket. Then also if you want one with or without a hood. Then go ahead and buy one. You will not be sorry. I promise you. Number 2 Next item on my list is an ultralight backpack. Yay! A backpack is something everybody loves to buy. And as a new hiker or someone who is searching for a new backpack and don't want to search internet to find the perfect one, it is very easy to end up buying a too heavy and a too big of a backpack. Myself, I did the same, of course, I ended up buying an Osprey backpack that weighed 2.5 kilos. 2.5 kilos! And <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of weight for something just to put your stuff in, right? Anyway, when I got more interested in ultralight hiking and searched for some information about backpacks, I found out that a backpack don't need to weigh more than one kilo and can still do the job just fine. So my first lighter pack was the ULA circuit at 68 liter and 1200 grams, which by the way is a great pack. Later and during this year I switched to the Atom Plus from Atom Packs. That pack weighs only 756 grams and does the job just as fine or better than the heavier pack from Osprey. Sure, my base weight today is about 5 to 6 kilos and a couple of years ago it was more like 15, but anyway. If you can save like one or two kilos by just changing your backpack, why shouldn't you? Well, I believe that all of you should think about and see what you can do to reduce your weight on your backpack, because there are a lot of good options out there, both from Adam Packs where I got my pack, but also from companies like ULA, Gossamer Gear, Hyperlite Mountain Gear and well, just to mention a few. Okay. Let's move on and to number three on my list today. Number three. I wish I had bought a really warm sleeping pad to start with. I had like many others a self-inflating sleeping pad for many years and uh, I don't know about the R value but it kept me warm for the hikes I did at the time. Then when I got a little bit more interested in ultralight hiking and wanted to save a little bit of weight I bought a new inflatable pad from Nemo with an R value of 3.5, I think. Because at the time they didn't measure R value the same way that we do today, so it was probably a bit lower. Anyway, that pad was so cold and when hiking in the mountains a couple of days I was like cold every night and I said to myself, never again. The Thermos Neo Air Xtherm, I just love that pad. At 6.9 in R value I don't have to worry about the ground temperature at all. The weight for the large version is 569 grams, so not the lightest pad out there but for what it is with that high R value, well it is pretty light. 
So to you who are new to hiking or you who are searching for a new pad, I can nothing else but to recommend you buying a warm sleeping pad. And if you are doing like three season hiking, go for a pad that has an R value of five or higher. Now that's my top three items I wish I had bought sooner and that I love having on my hikes. But like for many other hikers and especially ultra light hikers, the search for the perfect gear never ends. And although I really love those three items, they can and probably will be replaced for lighter options in the future. But the three categories, a puffy jacket, a lightweight backpack and a warm sleeping pad. Well, that will not change. And that's it for today and thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you have any questions to me regarding my three favorite things I wished I bought sooner or anything else really, just leave a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support this channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any future videos and thumbs up if you like this video. And of course, you did, right? And I will see you next week. Bye bye.